backed in and ready for an extreme paint job. A chrome-free primer served as the base coat. Then it was all about the black. Air New Zealand placed the order to turn this 777 into a flying tribute to its national rugby team, the world champions called the All Blacks. How fitting then that nearly every inch of this 300 ER would get the dark shade treatment. I think it looks amazing. Dressed in their black best, two standouts from the team, Andy Ellis and Kieran Reed, were on hand at Boeing's factory in Everett, Washington, to unveil the plane, the world's largest commercially operated aircraft painted black. And taking it around the world and, and showing it to the world, and uh, it was just you know, a really proud moment for, for New Zealand. And beautiful. Earlier in the day, the players got an up-close look at the 777 production line, guided by a Boeing employee with a special interest in their sport. Currently, I play on an over 40s rugby team in, in the Seattle area. I know, I don't look 40, <laughs> but we play in a Canadian league, so, so I've been playing rugby for 30 years. Miles Cote was joined by others eager to meet the world champs. Yeah, Reed and Ellis were impressed with the turnout and Boeing's plane process. They learned more about the planes that make up Air New Zealand's fleet. The, the pride that New Zealand as a country has in their rugby team, uh, the pride they have in their national airline uh, and in each other, it's just, it's just terrific. That pride now displayed on a 777 with a spiral symbol called Koru painted on the tail. It represents growth and strength. The New Zealand silver fern drapes down the side of the plane. Little old New Zealand uh, having a black plane that's going to fly all over the world and, and uh, Kiwis who are living all over the world hopefully will be able to see it and, and feel, a, feel a sense of pride as well.